Well, it's September 22nd today, and I just got back from our elk hunt out in Arizona. We had an awesome time out there. Spent a couple weeks out there chasing bulls, and it was a pretty incredible trip altogether. We was able to take a nice 6x6 on the ninth day of the hunt, but we just got back here to our public land. What I did way back at the beginning of August is I went around and I put out, I think, eight or nine different uh, muddy trail cameras in some of my primary locations that I'm planning to hunt this fall. And we we're, we're checking three of them today. We just got up to where this one is supposed to be and the camera's gone. This one, somebody decided to, to grab and make off with, I guess. But that happens on public land. I usually get anywhere from two to five cameras stolen every year. But uh, I try to keep them all locked with Python locks or other uh, padlock systems. And even if you lock them, sometimes people want them bad enough that they'll come back in here with a pair of bolt cutters and make off with your camera so it kind of stinks but uh, I don't really know of any way to fix it I mean that's just one of the challenges that we face out here either we just keep buying cameras and hope that nobody takes them or we just don't use them at all so I uh, it's kind of a catch-22 but on the, the flip side of things on my other two cameras that I had out today and checked had uh, at least two shooter bucks on them one of them is a deer that we've got a lot of history with we call him Twin Towers or Ray Finkel, I'm not real sure. I called him Ray Finkel last year and the year before that, Zach and Jared called him Twin Towers, but either way, he's a great big 10 pointer with tall brow tines that split at the top. And I think he's at least five years old this year. And uh, he's in a good spot for, for me to hunt him this fall. I've got lots of pictures to go off of from the last few years. And I think I know the general area that he's bedded in during early to mid October these past couple of seasons. So we'll just have to wait and see what we can do with this buck. I've got a couple cameras running in his areas right now and I'll probably start doing some observation sits in those spots, maybe try to get eyes on him in the next couple of weeks. We went then from there and pulled another one of our cameras and uh, there was a lot of human activity on it which is what I expected. It's in a spot that, that gets a lot of hunting pressure and activity because it's really close to the road. Well, we did have one mature buck on there. I don't know who he is. He's just a great big 10 pointer and uh, there's some there's some good bedding areas really close to that pond that that camera set up over so we're going to keep checking cameras and keep giving you updates right here at midwest whitetail